Hello and welcome to SLCS Speaks, our podcast highlighting the great students, staff, and events here in South Lyon Community Schools. We're back at South Lyon East in their production studio, hanging out with some lions. So we've got some different decorations and we have two South Lyon High School students with us today. We have Gabe Robbins and Alexa Westergaard. Thank you guys for being here today. It's nice to be here. Thank you. Very good. And you guys are both seniors and members of the National Honor Society at South Lyon High School. So first question, what, uh, how's the year going at South Lyon High? What's it been like so far? So this year started off really smoothly, I think. And you know, with the transition coming in from summer, usually sometimes you get some you know, friction or sometimes it's harder. But this year it's been really smooth and I think everybody's getting back into the flow really nicely. Yeah, I'm taking like a lot of AP classes this year. By getting into it, it's been really nice. Um, all my teachers are really good. The students are super nice. It's just a great community to be involved in. Very good, and as mentioned, NHS, National Honor Society. Can you tell us a little bit about what that means and, and what they do for the school? So the National Honor Society is a group of students who are putting themselves um, into volunteering situations and trying to help the school and make it a better place all together. Yeah, it's about having the grades, having the community service, and having the drive to just be a part of something bigger and better than yourself and to further the community. And, and one big event that NHS does to further their community and be something bigger than themselves is the annual red out. So can you give us the historical context of South Lyon High School and the annual red out? Yes, yeah, so red out started in 2009. We started it um, for a former staff member and coach, Mark Thomas because his wife unfortunately passed away from um, heart disease. So we have Red Out and we donate all the proceeds to the American Heart Association to kind of, you know, in honor of her and in honor of that family that was part of our community. And, and the Red Out is, is all week and there's events happening at school and if I'm uh, a student, how do I get involved? And then if I'm a parent or a middle school or elementary kid, how can I get involved? So some of the easiest way to get, invo get involved is to um, help through the fundraising. So if you're a middle school student or you're a parent or something, showing up to that Friday night game and you know buying a t-shirt or donating some money to the students walking around collecting donations, that's a great way that you can help support South Lyon and the Red Out. Um, if you're a student, however, you know during lunches we sell the t-shirts, you can buy a t-shirt, we sell bracelets, we sell keychains, we sell tattoos, we sell all these different things that you can buy and help support the Red Out. And, and the football team gets into it as well, right? Yes, the football team wears red jerseys for the game to kind of show their support, which really, I think, brings everyone together. And then before the game, we also have a tailgate event for freshmen to like just kind of introduce them to the school, get them involved in all our opportunities or whatever, and show them that we do have a good community and a place for them there. Well, it sounds like an awesome event, and hopefully our community can participate and, and make a big difference for uh, the American Heart Association and, and for South Lyon High School. So thank you both for doing that. As mentioned, you are both high school seniors, and you have uh, been here with us hopefully for a long time and have been a great experience, but you're leaving. So what do you have on the horizons, or what are you hoping to do after high school? Um, after high school, I want to go into primary education, so I want to be an elementary school teacher. So this year I'm hoping to be able to volunteer in classrooms with like K through 6, just to figure out what grade kind of fits best for me, be able to narrow that in and make sure it's really what I want to do. That is awesome, and we will gladly take you back in a couple of years, so make sure you're uh, sticking around South Lyon. Gabe, how about yourself? Um, I want to go to college with the end goal of being a psychiatrist. Fan fantastic. Well, you both seem like you're on great paths, so keep it going. Finish that senior year strong. And one tradition we have with this podcast is we put our guests on the spot and ask for a fun fact. So Gabe, we'll, we'll start with you. What's one fun fact about yourself? Um, one fun fact about myself is that I love to snowboard and it's one of my favorite things ever and whether I'm, you know, if I'm out on the slope snowboarding, I love snowboarding. If I'm at home, I love watching snowboarding videos. I just can't get enough of it. In, in Sounds like it might be Mount Brighton is the main destination. Mount Brighton's the main point. And no injuries so far. Uh, we've had a few injuries, but nothing lifelong. So we're all, we're all good right now. Very good. Let's keep it that way. And hopefully uh, it's a great snow season for you. And we'll see about snow days. We talked about that in last week's hopefully, podcast, but hopefully. there might be a few of those in there as well. Alexa, how about a fun fact for you? Um, we'll do a little AP Stats fact for my you know, AP Stats teacher watching. So hopefully I get extra credit on that test next week. Um, when I was born, my head was in the 95th percentile. So it was bigger than 95% of other babies, but I was still adorable. I could have won pageants. I was so cute. N no doubt, for sure. Well, that is awesome, and congratulations on being in the 95th or 95th percentile. Thank you both again for being here. It's a, it's an honor to speak to students who do uh, wonderful things for our community. So thank you, and thank you to your whole NHS team and everyone at South Lyon High. It's great to have the Lions invading East. Uh, thank you for watching this episode of SLCS Speaks. We'll be back next week.